Welcome mathematical literacy learners to paper two, uh, Free State September 2021. So if you look at the question there on 1.2, it says, in Annexure A, a map indicating a part of Bloemfontein is shown. Use Annexure A and answer the questions that follow. So if you look at question at the Annexure, does it say Annexure A, 1.2, map of part of Bloemfontein? That's exactly what we're going to use. So the first thing I look for on my map always is the direction of the north. Once I know, is it there? Is it not there? Which direction it is? And this one is pointing straight up. And then I look for my scale and I see the scale there. Then the type is line scale or bar scale. And then I say, do I have any keys in this one? I also have a key, which is um dots for suburbs and star for tourist attraction then i just quickly look at my map studying it i look see there that's n1 that is n8 and city center then i see that there are all these ones sh should be suburbs right because it says there with the dots are suburbs right so i'm good then at attractions i can see the orchard house there franklin uh game reserve and the museum right so let's look at uh, the first question 1.2 says how many suburbs can be seen on the map do not count bloemfontein in a city center as a suburb now i know this is a very easy question to understand but i always say don't read the question once you're going to miss something. So this one says, how many suburbs? So I'm going to go look on the map for suburbs, but there's very info important information there that says, do not include Bloemfontein. You, when you are counting things that are scattered like this on, the, on, on, on a drawing or map, I use a ruler and I just go down like that, making sure I don't miss a single thing. On this map, there is 18 suburbs if you exclude Bloemfontein. 18 suburbs have a ten. next question which says bloemfontein is one of the few cities in the world with the game reserve inside the city right so what is the name of the game reserve game reserve inside so there is a game reserve and it's called franklin so these are nice questions where you collect marks. 1.2.2 is Franklin. I'm just making sure I'm spelling it exactly the way they did. So the next one would be write down the name of the most northern suburb of Bloemfontein shown on the map. The north is in that direction. If north was in that direction, we'd be looking this way. But north is in that direction, so we look that way. Which is the most northern which is the most upper right so if you go there the toppest one is 2 point 2.3 and i'm just gonna go check the spelling it's b-a-i the next question says what spotting code is indicated on the map so when i talk about a spotting code the names of the spots are used as the code See, right there it's golf course and if you look at anything else there's no other spot so the only spot that is code that is included there is golf 1.2.6 what type of scale is used on this map very simple uh we have looked at it we know that this is a line or a bar scale you use whichever you like seven says explain the probability of randomly selecting a museum from the tourist attraction on the map is one over five so they've already did the probability for us they've done it for us so the one there represents the chances at the top remember probability is the number of chances divided by the total number of chances so that there is the number of chances which is one and the total number of chances which is five and they've already done it for us and they're saying explain why this is the probability for a museum 
in when the museum is one of the tourist attractions yes. how many museums are in the map and if you just quickly check 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 making sure you're not missing anything there's only one museum that explains why the probability is one at the top and then the total remember museum is a tourist attraction so we're going to look at the total the total of tourist attraction is one two three four five okay that's fine so the reason is because there is only only one museum out <laughs> out of five attractions or tourist attractions if you like right last question there it takes miss jones a quarter of an hour to drive from her home in universitas to den pindar how many minutes does it take Mrs. Jones to drive from university to Den Pinar? I always say, do not read the question once. You're going to miss something. So let me explain first to you what's happening here. So it takes Miss Jones a quarter. Now, let me assist you something with quarters and halves. This right here, it's important that you learn that this is a half. And then... This one here is one third, right? And then this one here, one over four, is a quarter. They're talking about one over two. And if they're talking about one third or a third, they're talking about one over three. And if they're talking about a quarter, they're talking about one over four. If, one, if this is one hour... Then Mrs. Jones will take only one over four of the one hour, not the whole hour, right? So what I do is I take this one over four, I divide it so that I know I can use it easily on any calculator, and that would be zero comma two five. I'm going to read it for you, knowing now what is a quarter. It takes Miss Jones uh one over four of an hour so what does that mean this is one hour then mrs jones will take only one over four of the one hour not the whole hour one hour times one over four and then it's going to give me 0, 0,25. Or I say um, 1 hour times 0, 0,25. Remember I said 1 over 4 is 0, 0,25. And the answer is 0, 0,25 hour. Right? 0, 0,25 hour. So it's only going to be a part of an hour. But now they don't want it in an hour. They want it in minutes. So now I'm just going to say, let's convert it. How many minutes in one hour? 60. So I can multiply this by 60. And I'm going to get what? I'm going to get... 15 minutes.